Hello guys, welcome to Light Guidance Oracle. Thank you for watching. Today I have prepared a video that was requested on my Instagram. Uh, so I have prepared for it and here it is. Uh, I am going to talk about runes, how to use them safely. Uh, these are going to be very basic infos on runes. So the word rune in old english and old german means mystery whisper or advice we associate runes uh, most of all with norse mythology and with god odin god odin uh, father god uh, he sacrificed a lot according to the myths to uh, get to know the secret of the meaning of runes. He lost an eye, so he sacrificed his part of his eyesight and he was hanging down the tree of life, Yggdrasil, to get this knowledge. Uh, this is the myth, uh, Norse myth, uh, that tells us the story about the runes. And now uh, some uh, facts that we know. Uh, we have three groups of runes. Uh, in each group there are eight runes. Uh, first uh, eight runes is the group of Frey, uh, from Fehu rune to Vunyo. The second group, Hagal, uh, consists of runes from Hagalas to Sovilo. And the third one is Tira, uh, those are the runes from Tivas to Otala. All the runes have different meanings. Uh, most of them have positive meaning and negative meaning. Positive meaning uh, we have when the rune is in the upright position. Uh, those are guidances and uh, good fortune hints. And uh, when the rune is in the upside down position, it has a negative meaning, it can be a warning or a sign that you have to correct something in your life. Each rune has its individual meaning. If you'd like to know the meaning of the rune, I would recommend reading a book uh, that is describing each rune or finding a good online source that would describe it. Runes are very powerful symbols, they are ancient symbols and it is best to develop a personal relationship with them because yes, we can read about their meaning uh, in a book, online, however, each rune when we develop a personal relationship with its energy can convey very specific and personal messages to us. So what I recommend is, for example, reading about one rune each day or one rune each week and then meditating on that energy by uh, visualizing the rune or writing it down on a piece of paper. You can also buy runes engraved on stones. I have such runes myself uh, engraved on hematite. So if it resonates with you, that can be a good way to go. How can you work with runes when you got to know them? Uh, first of all, as I said, you can buy a set of runes engraved on the stone and do some divination with those stones. You can also write runic scripts on paper. The best color to write down the runes and the scripts is red. It gives it, or the script or the runes, uh, extra power. You can also uh, engrave the runes on the wood by burning them out. Remember that, as I mentioned, runes are ancient symbols and they should not be used for dark magic, black magic. And what is black magic? Black magic is when we are influencing someone else's free will 
without asking their permission. That's already a black magic. So if you want to help someone out, ask them first. When you use runes for dark purposes, uh, it is known that very severe consequences can come into your life. For example, that's what happened with the Nazis. They were using two runes in order to fast forward their devilish plans to conquer the whole world. They were using the rune Sovilo, uh, the rune of success, and rune Algiz, the rune of protection. That gave them the advantage at first, but we all know how that ended up. So please be careful and very slow while getting to know the energy of runes. So that would be the basic info about the runes. Soon on my channel I will post shorts uh, with uh, runes to pick from. The runes will tell you what you need to hear. So stay tuned for that. And now, thank you for watching. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and everything good.